What it do, y'all, man? We back at it again. It's your boy Bezo with Wills, man. It's grind time. We got a lot of work today. My boy never doing nothing. Nah, I'm just playing, man. That's my brother right there. That's my body tech. Got anything to say to the camera, big dog? Pay me. Pay me. Uh, yeah, about that, but finance is a little rough and rocky right now. Anyways, look, man, we got a lot to do. <laughs> oh, it'll be on your next check. <laughs> Hey, look, real quick, man, we got the Corvette. This thing is officially ready to spray. Um, yeah, man, like I said, it's a little rocky thing. Things is a little, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. This is a part of the business. We good. Anyways, this got to be sprayed. It's going, is it, is it ebony black? I don't know. I don't know what black. I forgot. It's actually in the car, though. This will be going black. We got the pieces covered up. We got the C10. It's taken all the way apart. We got, we got that masked up. We're not going to mask this doorway just because we're going to have to move it. But Corvette, C10, Monte Carlo, and this is ready for uh, preparation with the masking. So um, ready to be prepped up. And then we got the Camaro. That's ready to paint. So really, oh, oh, we got to get the paint. We got to get, we got to go grab the paint for that. That's what we, that's what we going to do. Mustang. Gotta wait for my guy to come in. He'll be dropping some parts off. I know I said it in the last video, but um, we'll give him a call today. Check up on him. Like, hey, my brother. I know he was in, on vacation. I think he was like Vegas. I don't know where he was at. Forgot, but he told me. It was somewhere far. Handles. Got the handles. Tail lights. Trim pieces around the windows. Those will be installed. And a lot of this stuff I've never done, but the resume feeling great. So... Um, super excited about just being able to have the opportunity to work on cars that I've never worked on before so that I can um, slap it on a resume. So it's pretty much my brother's on the body work. That boy don't ever do nothing, man. He just sit around on his phone and smile. Smile. Here you go. Blah. No, Anyways, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited. This ready to be buffed, though. So we just got to put it all together. We went ahead and made some last minute changes. I love my favorite. I'm not going to say favorite, but I love my customers. I love all my customers. So, but it's like when people be like, make a tab, like just don't even tell me the price, make the tab. Them is like, whoo, you making it super easy for me. Like, great, cool, same thing. Man, all, every, all my customers is great. All my customers is great. Got a lot to do, though. Got a lot of catching up to do. So, um, Giving y'all the rundown on what's going on now, man. So, like I said, made some last-minute changes, which was painting the vents. Those were chrome, but a lot of them, a lot of them, they actually match in the car. We've seen some on Google. I've checked them out. Um, it is, like I said, dusty. So, <sighs> so anyways, we just got here. It's like five, like four or something in the morning. We're really, really, uh, really trying to get. You know, get the groove, groove on. Hey man, can we cut the cut these lights on? Then we got this. He's uh doing a body work on this. So, and then we got, I think an insurance. It's an insurance. No, no, no. Yeah, it is an insurance job outside. Insurance job outside. And then we got the Tahoe. Uh, we'll be hitting again. Um, I got one of my guys coming in to jump on that. But, yeah, man, got the bed off, got the fenders off the C10, so we can get a clean paint job. That was just really the, um, really, this is my first, uh, it's, my first it's not my first time taking a bed off of a truck because the, so everything that I've learned, I've learned it from my, like, my previous nine to fives, but um, everything I'm doing is just things that I've, you know, picked up on and wrote down, so I knew how to take off a, I knew, figured out how to take off a bed there, so. Figured it was the same thing here. So took the bed off in order to get a cleaner paint job. So I'm gonna feel good because the thing is we working on quality and I want everything hit. Like I'm no longer, I don't wanna do cheap jobs anymore. I know I said it already, but I, I rather just, uh, you know, focus on quality, man. Go ahead and say something. <laughs> oh my God, anyways, so I want to be, I want us to be known for that. Like, yo, like, if you want it done right, go to your boy B's O.A. Wheels. Um, and like I said, man, none of my work is perfect. It still ain't perfect, but it will be. Um, firewall, we get as low as we can on the firewall, as you can see. 
Um, my prepper came in, knocked that out. So it was ready for me to seal. We're gonna get these, uh, we took the windshield wiper motor out, but now we're gonna go ahead and take these off. I think these are the last things that we're gonna have to do. Um, now, getting a nice clean paint job is, whew, it pays off and they make it easier for us, believe it or not, even though we stripped this down the way we did, um, we know how to put it back together. And the thing is, when you put it all the way back together, of course you wanna be, you know, be careful. But two, seeing it come all the way together from <clears throat> something like this to a professional, nice, clean paint job, it, it yeah, yeah. This, I can sleep at night when I send a paint job out like that versus a, a rushed project. I don't want, I don't, I'm no longer doing any rush projects from this point forward. Uh, meaning if you got a time limit, you're trying to make a show, you're trying to make a event, I'm no longer doing that because now it's not about necessarily the pressure, but I know if I'm like, okay, spending three hours on this, if I look, this is, mm. hmm. Hey, man, who, who, who was standing on this? The new guy. <laughs> I'm telling you, every, yeah, 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 look at this. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. hey, somebody in trouble. That's a, that's a mean write up. Yeah. But that's why I do what I do. This is why sometimes I do everything by myself, you know? This is why I don't eat. No, I'm just playing. Bro. Why you put the fucking camera on me like, you know, nigga? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> this um, wasn't on the outside, obviously. Look, nah, that, ain't, that can't get it. wasn't going to slide no way. <clears throat> Excuse me. It wasn't going to slide no way. Because um, I was catching it over here, as a matter of fact, a few days ago. So. Yeah, and this is why I take it all the way apart. I want to fully assess the vehicle myself, um, especially management. He, my brother, right under me. So, um, yeah, man, you he, want that cheap shit? Get the makeup. <laughs> man, shut up. Still paint your lights and all. Man. Yeah, I've seen doing it. Yeah, no, nah, we not doing that. I've seen that done. So, we can we discontinued that off. <laughs> hey, you not lying though, because I used to take them six hundred dollar jobs. And a lot of stuff would have been painting. A lot of would, and a lot of it would have been hard line. I want to take the glass out. I promise I do, but I'm having a hard time trying to find the glass guy to come out here. No, no, my bad. I lied. I can find. I got glass guys, but um, getting them out here is um, pretty difficult. Now look, look, what we're gonna pay attention to. I know we're gonna get ready to hop on the Corvette. The Corvette getting sprayed today. First off, we got to pull all of these cars out, and the ones we're not taking out, we're gonna mask up. And I freaking forgot to tell, show y'all and tell y'all. Look what we got going on. Bro, should I tell him? Should I tell him? Ooh, they walk right over here. Ooh, baby. Oh, oh my God. So my brother, uh, and this is why you stay solid and stay, um, stay solid, but at the same time, keep your distance. Uh, when you're doing your thing, um, if that makes sense. I'm kind of all over the place in this video, but uh, one of my homies uh, that I ain't seen in whew, in a while. I see him every now and then, but it's been a while since I've seen him every now and then, you know what I'm saying, if that makes sense. But bro came through, and he's an actual licensed electrician, and he's uh, one of my classmates. I don't really, we don't ever really kick it like that. It's just like a every blue moon type, hey, man, what up with it, brother? Good to see you, man. Keep doing your thing, and then push on type stuff. But he literally came through because I needed an air. Con I needed somebody to install a 240 uh, outlet. And look, man, he came and labeled it, bro. Labeled it and everything, like golly. And I looked this up. I was gonna do it myself, and I didn't know. It felt like I was reading it, like a, I don't know, a Chinese book or something, like just, just something in a different language. Like yeah, I, yeah. So I just left it up to the professionals. He came and knocked that out extremely extremely fast and um yeah we can retire our baby girl right here it's my first air compressor i love you i love you i love you but i gotta move on but but i know you're gonna always have my back if i have to leave her you know you, you're not going nowhere i know you got wheels and she don't but you anyway <clears throat> anyways <sighs> excuse me uh, so, we rolling all of these bad boys out and we jumping on the Mustang. I mean, the, ooh, the disrespect. 
My apologies. We ju <laughs> we jumping on the Corvette. So we're going to tag this up right quick. And then we will hop on. We'll, we'll let that dry. We'll, we'll spray it. Let it dry. Let it cure for a couple hours. Bake it. Get the heater on it. Pull it outside because uh, the sun will be out actually to bake it. <clears throat> so it'll be hot enough to let it, you know, sit outside and bake it if it don't rain. Then we'll probably seal it. We'll go get the paint for that tomorrow. And then we'll prime that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paint, prime, seal, and prime. This got to be masked up. It was a lot of adjusting and a lot of body work. Uh, not a lot, a lot of body work, but it was a lot of adjusting to do. Ta making sure taking we taking things back off, putting it back on, making sure the lines. Like I said, you want to make sure that these seams, are, before you even jump on a project, you want to make sure the seams is already lined up before it even, you know, before you even touch it. Because if, like this car, if we took it apart, put it back together, and we didn't look at it before, we don't know if it's going to line up. We don't know if it was already off. So, uh, we'll get all these cars out, and then I'll cut y'all back on, man. It's time to get to it. Got the C4 over here, right in front of our fan. And the fan is in the hole in the wall, as y'all can see. So uh, we rigged it up there, threw some tape up there. Yeah, it's working. It, it got me through the lab paint job. But the goal is to stack up for the actual proper ventilation fan. We'll have it a pro, uh, we'll have to remove this board right here. And then we'll get a big one, a big heavy duty one. That's the plan. And then once that is up, we'll actually I'm ready to get the curtains, the actual shop curtains, because we got the perfect seam that's going to go right across. So they're pretty, pretty lengthy curtains, but we've had them at the Votex Center when I was painting up there. So curtain will stop right here. That'll give me all of this room to paint. And honestly, it's another seam right here. So we could actually have a curtain um, either go all the way across or we could go all the way across across and straight down this one. So I have a perfect, what you call it all the way, but what is so funny? What, my boy? Hey, they got, we got lawn scooters next to us. They be chilling. They just be <laughs> synchronized. <laughs> man they be out here they be out here chilling on, on, the, on the lunch hopefully i don't get nobody fired but they really be out here just vibing on these scooters because my mom on billboard yeah they vibing look at him look at a bit dog <laughs> anyway he like nah we ain't gonna like y'all no it's fine anyways um yeah man that's the goal to get the curtains so we can get a clean, nice paint job. This this gonna be tricky, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna wet the floor. We got the power washer hooked up to the sink because there's no spigot out here and we can't find no water lines. They giving us a hard time trying to get a blueprint of where the water lines was. But this is a bathroom, but the water line is not connected for some odd reason. There's no water over there. We already tried it. Got the air compressor hooked up. So uh, yeah, man, we're gonna wet this floor here a little bit. And I think we're gonna knock out the car. I'm gonna be honest. I really did just due to the amount of overspray, I think I'm gonna just paint the car first. Paint it. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it and clip in or just, I don't know. I, I've been lazy lately. I don't know. I've just been so exhausted from painting. And I think it's because I've been using my smaller air compressor. But I think what we'll do is uh, we'll actually, my bad, I haven't been looking through the camera. So it's probably just all over the place. But now I'm looking through the camera. Anyways, I don't know if we're gonna do the car itself, paint it, clear it, uh, bake it, pull it outside hit all the pieces i don't know yet it's going black so i'm not worried about it not being the same color um it's just overspray issue trash issues i want to make sure i do a clean clean job obviously the environment got to be uh straight i'm painting black that's why i'm just like might have to take extra precautions 
So uh, what we'll do is just probably spray the car. I don't know. I'll probably run it by my brother. I need to stop being lazy. I'll probably just spray the whole thing. So, yeah, we'll mask up this motor, close this lid, and then start tagging it, man. Let's get prepped up. I'm not going to cut y'all back on. Let's get it. Oh, man. Y'all thought we were playing. All right, man. We got to work. Uh, got the Corvette. Got the C4 over here. Went ahead and put up a sheet of plastic straight across. It was higher than that, but I guess the, the weight of it, the heat of it, all of that is baking over here, man. But it's doing the job. We got the one fan. That one fan killing. We might not even go get a fancy fan in the wall or none of that. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's working. So got the black on here. We got the 8555 Ebony Black. Ebony Black is just like really close to the blackest of the blacks. And um, yeah, it's got that deep, rich black. It's actually a Chevy black. Uh, it goes on a lot of 96 Impalas, Impalas and, you know, Chevys obviously, but it laid down really good. I had my, my gun actually leaked and um, it dripped one time right here. So we all right with it. It'll dry, it'll flash out and blend all. I ain't worried about it. This black got no pearl in there. And then it dripped twice over here. You got those areas out. Um, and then we have some deep scratches right here um so i was able to chop it up with my i got a body tech and i got a prepper who makes sure the car is ready for me to paint and then i paint it so um chopped it up with him kind of showed him like hey man we got to avoid these deep scratches uh and i'm and i'm explaining this because like i said man i i i'm running a body shop and i'm just documenting these videos for myself my children whoever else is interested in you know owning a body shop so it's gonna be some things that i ain't really um you know talking about and then gonna be some things that i will be talking about on certain uh topics uh especially when it comes to business but um i kind of slowed down on the how-to videos but we got the black laid down so that's that's what mattered the most at this point so laid down really good and it's really clean honestly i don't see no trash and i ain't had to get nothing out of it it's straightforward it laid down really good i'm anxious to use i mean i'm anxious to lay some clear down now I will I will say, um, you got Motor City clear. You have uh, man, I, a big shout out to my guy Tony. Tony is a top painter out here, one of the top painters out here. Uh, <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, he top three in my in my eyes. Um, I, I feel like I ain't. I feel like I'm great. I do good work, but you you know when you see a top tier painter and then you see yourself and you just you, you compare. And his work, he do great work, man. He do a lot of low riders and a lot of uh, Lincolns and, uh, you know, the cutlasses with the 15 different colors and the stripes and stuff like that. But he recommended me on um, some Motor City Clear. You can use some Motor City Clear. Use about, you know, obviously a couple gallons and color sand and buff it. He start off real low and go work his way up real high and put layers and layers of clear. Or you can go get up, uh, you know, finish one or even, a, uh, you know, the House of Color Clear. Now, I have noticed the difference between the Motor City Clear and the Finish One Clear, Finish One is thicker. Now, if you plan, if you don't plan on buffing a car, if you don't plan on buffing it, lay down that, that thick clear, the thickest, one of the thickest clears you can get. Um, finish One Clear, I love it because it's so thick. When I lay down Finish One, it's like, it's almost creeping up on like, I lay down two coats. It takes me two coats of Motor Clear Motor City Clear to get one coat of that uh, finished one. So uh, we're gonna be using a finished one on this one, and and we'll, we'll we'll see how it lays down. I'm really anxious to see how it's gonna lay down because I got the fan in the wall, I got the plastic, I wet the floor, and I, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. So uh, yeah, this thing is going. This thing is going. I feel like it's gonna look great. Like I said, with the Motor City Clear, we still gonna. I mean, with the Finish One Clear, I know I ain't got no table. We look like a. I know, I know. Y'all can talk about me, man. We we doing we working with what we can, man. We we just we just got in the building, so um, these are the parts. Reason I'm doing them separate is just because I want to focus and put my attention on that on that uh, the car itself. I want to make sure that comes out perfect. If that comes out perfect, I know these pieces gonna come out perfect. But y'all can see, man, we got a lot of work done. We're getting a lot of work done. Mm -hmm. Uh, my brother over there doing the body work. Like I said, that's the body work station. Got this ready. We're getting this prepped up, ready for prom. Boy, going ham. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. You good, G, man. You do your thing, my boy. Charge interest from court. Let <laughs> you know. Is that right? They go right back into the company. Watch out now. We got your car. Just know for a fact, she gonna be flawless. She gonna be good. She gonna be straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put this clear coat on, and then we gonna be we gonna be back in action. Alright man, we did three coats. It's got a little bit of trash in there. We'll get it all buffed out. Uh, got the finished one, laid it down. Pretty thick. So, the shine is there. A uh, little bit of trash is there, but no biggie. This fan has been pulling. Let's cut this down just a little bit. Got all the overspray out. So, she look good, man. If you ask me for the conditions, yeah, man. 
Get, I left enough clear coat for the buffer. I just, I think I just spit on it. God dang it. Anyway, I left enough clear coat for the buffer. Uh, and to this thing look good. Y'all ask me, I'll let y'all be the judge. So hit three, we did three coats of black and then we did three coats of clear. Laid it on there uh, pretty light. So all the dots that you see, man, don't be, don't be alarmed. Um, it's just either water droplets or a little bit of dust, thicker dust than the average dust that floats around in the air. So it's not a big deal. It's a big deal if you don't have enough clear coat on there. So we'll actually send this outside uh, here shortly and then just let it bake. Let the sun handle the rest. It's super dry. It's really, if I had to guess temperature wise, it's probably like a good 90 degrees in here. That's how pretty hot it is. So look all right, my boy. Look all right, let him be the judge. <laughs> That nigga just gave me, he gave me the pawpaw result. Like, you know I mean? Got a little bit of trash in there. A little bit of cool. But yeah, man. That's all right. I'm not fully impressed. Um, but it's... Yeah, so why you not painting? Dusty boy. Nah. So I'll let you paint. You on that like melted butter. Melted butter, huh? Radish steak tastes like butter. So it's dry. I'm not worried about our dust or anything like that. Uh, jams look good. I don't see any runs or anything like that. So my jams always come out fairly flat. Fairly flat. Looks good. Ah, well, got a lot of trash there. So I don't see no runs or anything like that. So it should be a pretty smooth buff project. I don't buff cars. Now I got a buffer that comes and buff it. He, we normally let this clear coat sit for about a week and do its thing. And then we'll be good to go. So, huh? I need to do the what? Man, watch it. I ain't the trash. You the trash. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do the parts tomorrow. Um, if I had more time, I'll probably do it today. Today was a long, unnecessary day. I had to make a, no. Did I make a store run? I did have to make a store run. My store runs be an hour. I come back, then I got to get in a mood and a groove to get back on it. So uh, other than that, Let's go check out what we got for the rest of the day. Um, I got to leave in an hour. So tell me what y'all think. This is the Ebony 8555 black. Um, three coats, a piece, I'm clearing the paint. Still got to get a paint table. That, I hope that, that, is that clear? It ain't. I say, man. Yeah, I know, I got to get a mixing table. I don't, I don't know why everybody act like I just got all this bread. Nah, it ain't like that, man. We got to get a mixing table. We got to get another shelf. Got a lot going on. Look like a, I ain't, I ain't hiding my flaws. Like I said, I ain't hiding my flaws. Look up, look, damn it, look at, look at my stand. Look at my stand. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're being real. Keeps it real. The only issues I really had was the water droplets. Obviously, a little dust. And I'm telling you, if you don't know anything about paint or... If you are a painter, you know that, you know, certain conditions you really can't avoid dust and a little bit of trash. That can be buffed as long as you gave yourself a little bit of, a little bit of room to work with, like clear coat. So, um, it's, three, it's three heavy coats of finish one clear, so my buffer has more than enough. So, all these little dots, they'll be gone, so you ain't got to worry about that. Um, it's the runs. It's really the runs that can really mess up a uh, a buffer's day because they got to figure out how much um, they got to shave off in order to get those out. And then especially with it being black. So truck is truck is almost ready. Uh, we As we saw this this morning, we'll have to, uh, we'll have my guys come and jump on that. As a matter of fact, my prepper is finishing up on that. Hey, heavy, well, he'll, he'll be, he'll be knocking this out. So this is considered his body work. So you're gonna have to sand all of that off get it all feather edged from probably back here up here down here and then never mind bro uh and get that squared away before we can actually paint it i mean seal it probably have to for sure probably uh prime that area but other than that we got this ready for prime we'll be priming we'll come in tomorrow and paint the parts correct paint the parts and then once we paint the parts i think yeah, yeah, we'll paint the parts and then prime that. So tomorrow got to be like a legit spray day. So I'll come in early. I'll come in early tomorrow morning. 
and then hit the parts. We'll let the parts tack up before 12, prime this, let that sit for about an hour, a little less than that, and then prime with a uh, prime the marrow. So let's let's make sure we staying on track. Um, we'll be focusing on uh, priming and painting all week. Then we got a 71 Camaro, no 71 Cutlass. We got to start putting together. That's already been painted, the one I've been showing y'all. So um, that will be started on next week. So we can get this painted by Friday. I'm trying to get this painted by Friday. We'll be in the game. So prime it block it one more good time and then paint it so desert tan other than that man uh my my guy been what you did all this today right yeah he did all this today did most of it today and that, it went through hell literally not hell hell but like hell damage <laughs> so he been blocking and making sure all the panels is straight uh, when that's the, that's the benefit of having somebody that's just strictly focused on blocking they ain't gonna feel overworked me, I always felt like I was overworked because I was doing the blocking. Then I was doing the priming. Then I was doing the blocking again. Then I was doing the masking. Then I was doing the painting. By the time I started painting, I hated the car. I hated the car. So um, it, it, it feels great to have my brother uh, do what he loved doing, is blocking and making sure. Hey, what you said today? He was like, man, I'm, I'm usually, he said he was excited about it. You know, just because he said, I'm putting pride in this. We got somebody that actually love doing what they do. They're going to make sure it's perfected. They ain't going to take no shortcuts. So my brother really on his body work and he loved doing it. I figured he'd love painting. Everybody want to paint. Everybody want to, I want to paint. You ain't even learn how to do body work yet. So, um, yeah, he going to do his thing on this. And he said, you said how long? He, my boy said he going to have this done tomorrow. That's crazy. So that means I got a lot of pressure. I got a prom, prom. Paint, prom, paint. Yeah, man, we rolling. We rolling. <sighs> yeah, man, so it's on. I will catch back. We're going to catch back up tomorrow, though. Going to catch it. That's ready to pick up. So, yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all hit that like, like button and comment. Feel free to comment and subscribe, man. We're going to get up on out of here.